It started off as a crude joke, but now it's an actual debate. They're seriously reacting to the tragic murder of a woman in London by suggesting that all men be put under a 6pm curfew. At first we just thought it was the nutty Green Party woman. I might actually put in an amendment to create a curfew for men on the streets after 6pm, which I feel would make women a lot safer and discrimination of all kinds would be lessened. But now Welsh First Minister Mark Drayford says that under a crisis situation, he wouldn't rule it out. If there were a crisis and you needed to take dramatic action that allowed that crisis to be drawn down, then of course you'd be prepared to consider all measures that would make a difference. I can't even believe I have to go to the effort to refute this utter nonsense. First of all, for those saying this is bonkers and that it will never happen, under the guise of a crisis, the entire UK population has just been under de facto house arrest for the best part of a year. Now that we've let them create that precedent, it opens the door to anything. Hashtag curfew for men seems like such an out there idea until you remember they literally had a curfew for women when the Yorkshire Ripper was active. Why not take away the problem rather than punishing the victims? Why should we stay inside? Why wouldn't we just do a curfew for men? Men are the problem. Full stop. End of. It's all the men. Really? Okay, let's go by your logic. Within the period of just 10 weeks in 2017, the UK was hit by three separate Islamic terrorist attacks which killed a total of 34 people and injured hundreds more. Those murders were all carried out by Muslim men. Did we respond to those murders by placing all Muslim men in the UK under a curfew? No. Because it's wrong to blame an entire gender or an entire religious group for the actions of criminal individuals. So how is that any different now? Why do we only see hysterical moral panics and calls for mass curfews when a white man murders someone? Do any feminists want to have a conversation about prison population demographics? Yeah, didn't think so. Replace men with any other descriptive word for a large group and there'd be more outrage over that than there is over this poor woman's murder. If we're blaming individual crimes on entire groups of people, who should we curfew after the next London stabbing? I'm also baffled as to why this outrage over the abduction and murder of one woman, tragic though that is, was completely absent when thousands of young girls went missing in towns and cities across Britain, sold into sex slavery by predatory human traffickers. Rotherham, Rochdale, Oxford, Telford, Halifax, Bristol, Derby, Peterborough, Huddersfield. No social media outrage from feminists, no hand-wringing, no moral panic, nothing. Gee, I wonder why. And again, I can't believe I have to say this, but you know criminals, yeah, they don't tend to obey laws. So why would they obey a curfew? The only kind of men who'd agree to abide by a curfew are ones that look like this and think that smiling at a woman in public is a form of sexual harassment. Also, how is a male curfew even enforceable when we can all just identify as women? And all this sanctimonious moralizing. Men have to be part of the solution. If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. You have to talk to your boys. You have to re-educate them not to be misogynists. Men have to lecture other men not to be sexist. If their friend is making inappropriate comments or laughing and joking, they should they should pull them up on it. Yeah, you know who doesn't give a shit about all your hashtags, moral panics, or social engineering? Rapists and murderers. Oh, I was thinking of abducting and killing this woman, but some soy wojak on Twitter told me I was engaging in toxic masculinity, so I decided not to. The real world doesn't work like that. Evil exists. It's always existed, it will always exist, and it won't be stopped by woke social media moralizing. Also, why are virtually none of these feminists talking about self-defense? In the UK, it's illegal for women to carry pepper spray. They get hit with penalties the same as carrying a gun. Screaming intersectional platitudes in the face of a vicious attacker isn't gonna stop them. A powerful blast of pepper spray to the face might well do. If you really want to protect women, lobby for the law to be changed so they can protect themselves. But this isn't about protecting women. It's about Me Too feminists exploiting a tragedy so they can have their own George Floyd moment. So they can grift off the grief of this poor family for retweets, dopamine, book sales, TV appearances, so they can push for new laws that make misogyny a hate crime. According to them, Misogyny is disagreeing with feminists on social media. They call it harassment. If you really care about protecting women, 
allow them to protect themselves. If instead you're just exploiting this tragedy to divide society even further with this extremist message of misandry, a message that does absolutely nothing to protect women from violent criminals, then it's not all men who are part of the problem, it's you.